What's up? So uh, I just got home from work and I get ready to go to the gym and I was taking my pre-game poop, all you gym guys know. And I'm um, watching these videos of some fighting going on over in Israel. And today I wanna to talk about lumens and candela. How much do you need? Is there too much? Is there too little? All that good stuff. Back in the day, back in 2003, when Surefire was just like a baby company and their flashlights were twice as much as they are now and they put out one eighth of the power they do now, right? <clears throat> Most of infantry dudes that were going to war did not have them. Most, like, I'm talking like 99%. We were actually taping um, those little mag lights on our guns and getting I don't even know how many like single digit lumens and candela they were putting out, but it was like nothing. But that's all we had, right? Fast forward two years, 2000, late 05, all of 06, we all got surefires on our guns. Um, the government finally provided something halfway decent, or at the time it was phenomenal. Um, and it was a hundred times better than those mag lights, but yet still crappy uh, fast forward a couple more years into contracting they got led lights instead of like your regular um your lit uh, whatever they're called the regular lights and uh they were a million times better right um but with surefire and i'm gonna say i'm gonna talk about them just because they're mo the most popular like light company out there um what surefire was lacking was the um the can the candela they would give you all the lumens in the world but their candela the little hot spot in the middle was not all that great what we started seeing was as a cop was when you would go to like look in the back of a car that had really tinted windows it wouldn't go all the way through you wouldn't be able to see into the back seat um a lot of cops used stream lights um they were i mean they were good don't get me wrong they're good lights but they were just just as bad as surefire as far as candela goes um i believe it's mod light is it mod light or o light or no mod light whatever the light is i think it's mod light um they came out with heads that would go on the surefire lights that would give you a whole bunch of candela and not very much lumens what they found what everybody found out was that's way more betterest it's just the way it is right a company like Surefire that's so huge, that has so many government contracts, would not all of a sudden come out with their um, their new light brand with a turbo or ultra or whatever it is um, that has all the candela without doing a mega shit ton of research, without, you know, talking to the people in the industry, this, that, and the other, right? Um, however, even today, I still hear mainly one talking head sometimes to talk about you don't need that much light that talking head has never let's just put it honestly he's never even seen combat right he you know likes to pretend he knows a lot about fighting combat but just to be honest he, he hasn't done it he has not been in those buildings that are made out of concrete and rock and as soon as you start firing into them, dust goes everywhere. Or when you have an outside vehicle putting, you know, 50 cal or 25 mic blank or what have you, or even, you know, um, when the birds come in and they start hitting that thing, blah, 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 blah. And then you go in there and you can't even breathe. It's so dusty, let alone see. And when you turn your Surefire on and you only have whatever, 500 lumens is the magic number there. 500 lumens and you're like dude i can't see two feet in front of my face and i've had that experience over and over and over again that's why when these new lights came out i jumped on the bandwagon and bought them immediately they'll say oh man you're gonna go in there and you're gonna wash out the room with your light it can happen if you go into an all-white room and or a room that's just covered in mirrors then yes, there's a good possibility you may 
wash out with light. If you do that and you're not fucking smart enough to turn your light off and or use momentary like you're supposed to, <clears throat> then you're a fucking idiot and you don't deserve to have a flashlight. If you use the right tactics and techniques, then you should know that there is a multitude of ways to do that by using all the lumens and all the candela and using it to your advantage. So, in the, the argument or whatever about more lumens and more candela, I'm going to go with what Aaron Cowan says. Give me all the fucking lumens and all the fucking candela, and then I will decide what I want to do with it. Because if you've ever actually been in a firefight inside a building and all that dust is coming, you can't see shit. I'm going to link in a video, one of the videos I was just watching <laughs> that's going on in Israel right now. And you can see those dudes are just firing 5.56 five, and the guy inside is probably firing AK. So you got 5.56 five, and 7.62 going back and forth. And look how much dust it's producing. We're not talking throwing grenades. We are not talking AT4s. We're not talking 50 cals or 240s, 25 mic mics or 30 mic mics or missiles or anything like that. We're talking small arms. Look how much dust it is. And you tell me, after watching this video, how many lumens of candela do you want? And if you're the guy that says, oh, well, fucking streamlight's good enough for me because it's good enough for some dumbass fucking police department, then you're a fucking idiot. Sorry. You've been trained wrong, you're fucking brainwashed, and you're not intelligent enough to make your own decisions. I don't know what else to say. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Later, watch the video, tell me what you think afterwards. זה הגופה של המחבל הראשון, זאת הגופה של המחבל השני, סך הכל. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait, hold on. Are you? Where are you at? You. Are you an asset or a liability? And don't, don't fucking lie either. Which one are you? Think about it.